What is going on guys, this is Angus Davidson 15 and today I'm going to give you a non-spoiler movie review of the film Oblivion. Oblivion is quite a recent film as it was released on the 10th of April and that is the UK release. For other countries, for example France, America, Spain, Switzerland, it's different as it was a little bit later so for some people in different countries then it might not even be out but definitely for the UK it is the 10th of April. Now even though Oblivion was based on a unpublished graphic novel it did have a high budget which was a hundred and twenty million pounds so you can definitely expect incredible CGI from this film. So apart from the CGI the cinematography is also incredibly good it has a very high rating for me as I thought it was mind-blowing and I thought it's probably one of the best films for cinematography as the director and creator of this film was actually responsible also for the creation of Tron and that had one of the best cinematography graphics I've ever seen and I couldn't really blame it because he's an inc incredible man he makes absolutely amazing films and this definitely was one of them now the film Oblivion is about a man called Jack Harbour who is played by the main character Tom Cruise. In 2070 he lives in a futuristic house above the clouds with his partner Victoria. Now they are believed to be the last people on earth or the last humans after it was destroyed by aliens called the Scarves or the Scavs they call them and they want and the Gavs wanted Earth's resources. They destroyed the moon, leading to a series of natural disasters, for example, earthquakes, until the humans declared war on them. Now, the humans, they didn't use, u sorry, use nukes, so they lost the Earth. Now, the job of Jack Harbour, brackets, Tom Cruise in this film and his partner, is to protect these, th these machines or robots called drones, and the drones protect these machines which collect man-made resources which are vital to extract after the decades of war and they are going to use this to travel to Titan especially as it has breathtaking CGI and I, that's the main thing I probably love in films is looking at incredible CGI I think the creators and most films now have really got good at it the graphics and detail is just outstanding, especially when watching this in the cinema. It's absolutely brilliant. I can't wait to have a look at this on Blu-ray, as the pixels will be a lot less compressed, and the picture detail will be even better. Obviously, in the cinema, it's stretched because the screens are a lot bigger, but even when looking this on the cinema, it was absolutely amazing. It was so futuristic. That's what they, that's what they intend to do in the film, but it just lap looks absolutely brilliant. I don't think there's any moments in the film where I thought the characters looked fake or any other CGI just didn't look real. Now one of the biggest movie and game review companies in the world, IGN, have actually given this film a 6.6 .6 out of 10 which is actually surprisingly low as I didn't think it was actually that bad, I thought it was really good. The CGI, as I said before, was breathtaking and I think it deserves a lot more than that so if you if you obviously agree with my opinion then I think you'll think you if you watch this film then you'll think it's a lot better than that I wouldn't don't let don't let uh, the IGN review be or put you off even though it's just one opinion by one news article writer you shouldn't be put off as it is a really good film and that's just one opinion now one of the things I really like about this film is the fact that it's actually based in 2070. Now that sounds a bit weird but some films like Avatar and Star Wars and stuff like that they're just based in times that are nowhere near 2000s and this film is sort of based near our time right now 2013 it's just under 60 years and I quite like that because it's not too far ahead and it's not too near as well because it's in the future obviously but it's not it's not a stupid time and I think that's quite good because 
it's also quite believable as well. I'll definitely say that it's, it's one of the most believable films. Obviously, the CGI makes it look quite unrealistic as it's incredible AI, art artificial intelligence. However, it is quite believable and it's quite uh, good as well as they do clear up any questions that you might think halfway through the film. Now, I think in this film, Tom Cruise actually did a really good job. He usually does in pretty much nearly every film I've seen. One of my other favourites is probably War of the Worlds. That's actually one of my top ten films of all time. You can actually check that out in the link description and also link right here. However, I think he did a really good job. His facial expression was really good. I thought his movement and acting was good as well. And it wasn't just him, it was Morgan Freeman as well. He did a really good job. I was excited to see him in the film as I've recently heard there's a lot of fake deaths about him. And he, I've always liked him as well. He's been a good actor. He's been in more, more films than I can count. And every single one he's done a brilliant job, especially this film. So Oblivion is a really good, action-packed, entertaining film. It's got some good actors in it, including Tom Cruise and Morgan Freeman. It's got exceptional, breathtaking CGI, and it's got quite an interesting, but not very original plot. So for that reason, I'm going to give it a 8.5 out of 10. So that is my complete review and opinion on the film Oblivion. If you really did like this video, please click the like button. And as always, thanks for watching.